the culture surrounding snowboarding in Vermont is incredible. When I think of Vermont and snowboarding, I definitely think Vermont is the birthplace of snowboarding. Just where it all started. This is the third year we're doing the Red Bull Sliding Tour. We're checking out all the sick places Vermont has to offer. So Sliding Tour is very different than any other event that I've ever really participated in. We're kind of free to just have fun on the mountain and get people excited to get out and ride. This year we got Maggie Leon, and she's a Vermont local. Super positive, always has a smile on her face. And then obviously we have Zeb Powell, who is X Games gold medalist and one of my best friends, so just a dope dude. It's my dog. Smiles for miles, he's the sickest. I can never have a bad time with him. <laughs> the way he sees features in the park and side hits on the mountain is just incredible. I love watching him snowboard. <laughs> that was so sick. Oh yeah, sliding door, that's how we do it, baby. On our way to the next stop. Hopping in the caravan. This year we're touring around Vermont, going around Route 100 to all the historical resorts. And checking out all the sick places that people don't really know that much about. Just pulled up to Suicide Six. Red Bull crew. Welcome to Suicide. Zeb, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Zeb. I'm Maggie. Maggie. Miles. Miles. Nice to meet you, man. Have you heard about this mountain? A little bit. All right. Well, let's get a little history, huh? Yeah. I'm Paul Graves, and I got involved in snowboarding 56 years ago. 1966, the original Snurfer came out, and I was able to get involved with that company and that product. And we would go to different parts of the country and put on exhibitions at ski areas, trying to promote what we were doing. I just believed always that snowboarding was the most fun thing on the planet, and it just became my passion. This is uh, the face at Suicide Six, where we held the 1982 Snow Surfing Championships. 125 riders showed up, no bindings, no edges. We didn't have a clue. Suicide Six was brave enough to allow us to hold the event. To this day, it's a gnarly, gnarly trail. That's sick, because the first thing, like rolling up, first impression was, it sure would be sick to just send it over that knoll. Yeah, I can't wait to see all three of you come down it. Let's go, dude. <laughs> you can feel the presence of the past snow shredders. I got chills. Like, I felt it deep-rooted Vermont snowboard history. Vibes were high, people were loving it. It's like, why well, do what I do is just to share the love of uh, the sport. If I've played a role in passing the torch to those three individuals today, I, I couldn't be more proud. To see all of the school kids who honored them by showing up to see their heroes and to see their interaction with those kids who will someday have the torch passed to them. I heard it was like the most snowboarders that have been on that mountain in a long time. I'm glad we could like kind of bring the snowboarder soul back to the mountain, you know? We are in the Green Mountains of Vermont. Just here in the woods in this magical place with a bunch of rope toes and jumps. Well, we, we bought the land here in 2008 and spent quite a few years doing some site work. And in 2011, we started building our house. 
And then the rope tow came when we were kind of joking with a, a local friend who's really handy about having a backyard rope tow, and he said, well, let's start tomorrow. What's up, guys? How's it going? You guys ready to do some riding? Yeah. <laughs> Angus is a pretty awesome dude. It's all DIY, pretty much. He lives off the land. He's got three rope toes, solar panels, power and everything, his own sugar house to make maple syrup. It's a pretty beautiful thing. This is definitely bringing it back to the roots of what pure Vermont snowboarding is. It's sick. This is dope. I'm loving this place. It was pretty magical, you know? Like, we just rolled up and it was almost like Snow White and the Seven Dwarves lived back there. It was like, kind of like a dream world. A couple rope toes and a hill the board with your kids, you know? Why do you guys like rope toes? It's fun. They're fun. And you can just do lap after lap. For me, you know, growing up um, at a small ski area, and um, there's not a lot of ski areas in Vermont, you know, you can get that same feeling. For me, it was just, uh, I don't know, the soul of skiing, I guess, if you want to call it that. What's good? Chill Foundation. Let's go. Zeb Powell. My phone. Ah! We're here at Bolton Valley riding with the Chill Foundation tonight. Um, Chill was a company started by Jake and Donna Carpenter, and they're basically just giving back to underprivileged youth and trying to get more people on snow and create a more diverse uh, environment. Chill works with youth uh, ages 10 to 18. Um, who come from a variety of challenging backgrounds. Snowboarding has a lot of barriers to access for a lot of kids in our communities, right? Whether it's um, finances or transportation or gear or just a supportive, safe environment to learn. What's your name? Camille. Camille? What's up? Nice to meet you. Ever since I won X Games, I wanted to start doing stuff like this. It's cool to like, you know, finally come to one of these events and see how it goes. Everyone's so stoked right now. Like, I'm just having a blast already. Oh, there you go, there you go. Lean back on your heels. Heels, heels, heels. Um, my name is Chloe. I am 12 years old. I was riding with a professional snowboard, Maggie, and she was really kind and sweet, and she was really helping me out. Oh, oh yeah. Tonight was really sick. I was able to work with Chloe, and, uh, teach her how to do heel side turns and toe side turns and she literally just learned how to stop today. What? It makes me feel really proud of myself. I wanted to be a professional snowboard because I'm inspired by a lot of people who do it. This is Ryan. He uh, is from New York, comes up here with the Chill Foundation. It is his 18th birthday and he just learned how to do front 360s on flat ground. That's what's good. Yeah. You stoked, dude? Yeah. Let's go, baby. He's hyped. That's what snowboarding's all about. Come on, let's get it again. Sharing the sport that I love with uh, people that are just getting into it is amazing, man. I love snowboarding so much. I love the mountains. It's a beautiful thing, and to be able to share that with other people is really awesome. And, you know, I feel like it's just like, you know, the snowball effect. You know, you teach it to someone and they love it, and like, then 
they love it so much that they teach it to people and like, you know, it just keeps going, like it keeps getting bigger and you get more and more people to do it. For me, snowboarding helped me discover who I am. It makes me a better person every day. It allows me to meet awesome people and share like a love for a sport. Have as much fun as possible. As long as you're having fun, that's like the biggest thing that matters. That's how you progress. And go do it with your friends. That's what sliding door is all about, I think.